We worship the Lord this morning. We praise you, Father. We come before your presence with joy and thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, for this good day. We thank you, Lord, for your hand upon us and upon the nations of the earth. Mm. Lord, regardless of what our eyes see, Lord, you have got your hand upon the affairs of men. Yeah. Lord, you sit in the heavens and you laugh at the machinations of the nations and they think that they can outwit God. Mm -hmm. Father, we're just going to give you praise. We're going to give you thanks, Father, because we know the end of the story from the beginning. And Father, we thank you that you've spoken and it shall be. From the very beginning, you had a plan and a strategy and you are working towards that day. And Father, there's a day coming when everything will be just united in yourself, in God himself. Yes. And Father, we thank you that we are part and purpose, part of your purpose here, Lord. And we're working with you, Lord, to see that day arrive. And Father, we say, open our eyes more. And give us greater sensitivity in the yes. spirit so we know how to move, what to do, what to say, what to see. Father, give us grace in these days, Father, that we walk with you in such a sensitivity, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Father, I want to thank you for the day when Jesus walked into that uh, synagogue right there in his own hometown of Nazareth. Lord, he had been tempted by the evil one he, and Lord he had gone everywhere since that time manifesting the power and the glory of the Lord and Father he came at that time and he said that right then it says that he went into the into the uh, synagogue there in Nazareth he says that he was in the power of the spirit Jesus returned, listen to this Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. This was after the temptations with the, with the devil. And news went about him through the whole countryside and he taught in their synagogues and everyone praised him. Everyone praised him. Hallelujah. Then he goes to Nazareth. And he, that's his hometown. After everyone praising him. And there he goes into the synagogue and he takes the a scroll. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, and to release the oppressed and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He rolled up that scroll, gave it back to the attendant, sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were upon him. And he began saying to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing and Lord we know that that scripture was divinely chosen for that mo moment and that declaration in his hometown and to the whole universe that Jesus has come to do these things mm. and Lord I want to thank you that you are still doing these things. And that Father, in the incredible wisdom of the ways in which you caused Jesus to walk upon this earth, he was living out every word that you had spoken and he was, pre pre he was going before us and making a way so that we too would be those who would then in the end be able to present to you that which Jesus has begun. We in his body will do it. And Father, I want to thank you for the magnificence of your planning. And God, today, as your people, I pray we won't step back and just think, okay, we're just saved and we'll go to heaven. But no, Lord, we'll step forward and we'll walk into your purposes constantly in your way, Lord, to fulfill your will on the earth and, and be an answer to the prayer of Jesus. Yes. Your kingdom come, your will be done on the earth, on our earth, yes. our area, yes. as it is done in the heavens. Yes. Father, you've not changed your mind. Mm -hmm. This was from the beginning. 
And so, Father, I thank you that you've given your people dominion from day one of our creation. But, Lord, we are here to do your will. Father, guide us and lead us in our time as we pray this day. But, Lord, we will be those who exercise your spiritual authority in the earth through the place of prayer, bringing your will in the earth as it is done in the heavens. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus is our model. And as he stepped in to what you had prepared for him on that yes. day, he stepped right into scripture, yes. fulfilling that which from eternity to the moment mm. you had planned, of becoming uh, an, an incarnation mm. of that scripture, yes. Lord, and we, we believe that in the same way, you have prepared words for each of us, yes, Lord. Lord, that every day, you have a plan, you have a purpose, yes. there are doors of opportunity yes. that we can walk into and fulfill yes. your word for us yes. that day. And it will be a word that brings life oh, to everyone around yes. us. We don't want to miss any door, we don't want to miss any opening or any opportunity. Lord, we receive today that grace of sensitivity to your spirit to see and to hear, Father, what you are doing, what you are saying, so we will know and recognize each and every door, and so that we can, like Jesus say, I have completed the things that you destined me to do, the purpose for which you sent me. I have done it, Father. We want to be oh, feeling Lord. that same sense of joy that we have satisfied your heart, Father, that we have obeyed you, that we have yielded to you, and that as a result, Many lives have been saved, have been transformed for all of eternity. Father, we receive that grace today, yes. and we will walk in it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, By Lord. your grace, we will walk in the same way yes, that Lord. our Master did. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Father, we, I just want to thank you for the model that Jesus is to us. He is, he is the firstborn among brethren, and he is the model son, and we are all sons of the living God, male and female, we are all sons. And Lord, I want to thank you that if that is a spiritual and biblical reality, each one of us. Lord, I pray that we will know the action of the Holy Spirit to rise to the occasion of living that life that Jesus lived. Mm -hmm. That he was always in communion with you. He was always listening for your voice. He was always listening to what you were saying to him so that he would know exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Lord, I, I pray that would be us as well, that it would not matter what is happening around us. We are so in tune with you. They are walking with you by the Spirit, and as a result, we can do exploits, exploits that we are called to do. As, as children, as sons of God, we are called for exploits. We are called to do uh, your will in the earth. We are called to advance your kingdom purposes in the earth. We are called to do these things. Lord, I pray for every believer, every Christian in this city and beyond, in this nation and beyond, to find that place of walking with you by the Spirit, listening to your voice and doing your will in every situation that you have us in, whether it's in our families, whether it's in our jobs, whether it's in the ministry, or we're in the ministry, may we all <coughs> see ourselves <coughs> as called to the ministry, called to be ministers wherever you have us placed. It doesn't matter where we are, whether it's behind a pulpit or it's behind a desk. 
we are there to serve the purposes of the living God. And I pray that in this day that we're in, this is an amazing Kairos time that we're in, that we'll all have ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying so that we can uh, do what you want us to do in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And Father, when Jesus stood up in that uh, synagogue in Nazareth, his hometown, with people in you looking at him, their eyes piercing through him. Lord God, he knew he was reading from the book of Isaiah. And it goes on to say, and they shall rebuild the old ruins, mm -hmm. and they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities yes. and the desolations of many generations. And Father, he was repeating even the words that are in um, Isaiah 58, Lord God, for those who fast, they have got that promise that this is what they will do. And those who have the covenant, this is what they shall do. They are those who restore the ruined cities. Yes. And Father, we want to thank you that we live in a day when the words of the Lord Jesus Christ are being fulfilled in the earth Lord yes. God we are living in a time when ruined cities are being restored and Father you have a people across the nations Lord and across this nation and you have a people in this city Lord God whose eye is on not just the, the people of God but Lord it's upon the city for which yes. you died Lord yes. God to see the city raised up the ruins Lord Lord, restored, Father. In Lord, inheritances which have been lost be, being recalled, Father, and regained, Father. Lord, this is what you've called us to do. And Father, we say in this, in this time, Lord God, cause your people to understand their calling. That, Father, the Lord Jesus understood fully. And when he stood in that uh, uh, synagogue in Nazareth, Lord God, he understood why he was there. He was opening blind eyes. He was healing the sick. But it all was for a purpose to see the cities restored, nations restored restored, the earth restored. Father, it was for the full purpose of the living God to be done, Lord God. And I just say to you, Father, cause your people in these days to get their eyes on what Jesus' eyes are fixed upon. And so that, Lord, we will do your will. Lord, your, you were hands on God. Jesus came and walked streets touched people, ate food, did ordinary kinds of things, Father, a hands-on God. And Father, I say, Lord, cause us to be a hands-on people. Lord, not just looking and um, philosophizing about situations, but Lord, Lord God, hands-on, having answers, meeting needs. God, we just pray in this city of San Antonio for the many, many, many good ministers here, Lord God, who have got hands on. Lord, truly are the, the hands and the feet of Jesus. Lord God, give them the heart of Jesus as they go out, Lord God. And Father, let the, let the life of Jesus be ministered through those hands and through those opportunities to serve. Lord God, we pray for many, many people to come into the very life of God through the ministry of Jesus through many, many avenues in this day. We, we ask it in Jesus' name. Father, you have called us to be a people who give. Yes. And Lord, we know it's so much more than giving money. Lord, you've called us to give ourselves, to give of ourselves, yes. to give our very lives, yes. to present our bodies as living sacrifices yes. for you. Yes. And Lord, we're calling the church to understand these things and to, to rise to that higher and deeper uh, level of giving, to give of ourselves, to give our very body, to yes. give our very activity every day. Jesus yes, left yes, heaven, yes. he gave, the Father gave his Son, who left his place in glory and came, took on human flesh and came, took our sins upon him and came. All of these things he did, he gave, and he, he, he foreshadowed what we should be doing, giving of ourselves, not concerned about the position that we have, just be ready to give ourselves to go wherever you tell us to go and to do whatever you call us to do. And Lord, I pray, we pray today that you by your spirit, that the unction of the Holy Spirit will come upon the body of Christ in this day to recognize that, Lord, it's not just giving of money, but it's giving of our very lives just to the purposes of God to be fulfilled through us, your people, that we are your answer. We are your hand extended to a lost and dying world. We are your hand extended to people who are caught 
in the, in the ravages of sin, we are, uh, your hand extended to people who have no idea what's happening, but we are here to, to serve them <clears throat> through the power of your Holy Spirit. And I pray that in this day, it doesn't matter where we are, uh, in the official ministry or in life every day that we are ministers unto the living God and we are ministering to those around us yes. because of our love for you and our love for them. Lord, may this be a reality in all of our lives. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord, we remember that when you came, everywhere you went, you were announcing the <laughs> kingdom. That's right. The kingdom has come. The kingdom is nigh. The kingdom is at hand. That's right. He was mm -hmm. revealing the reality of the yes. kingdom yeah. and of the king. And, Lord, we want to, to give that which we've received. We've received. Right. Not just a revelation of the kingdom, but the benefits, the life, yes, yes, the life yes. of the kingdom. Yes, and Lord, Lord what we we've have. received, we want to give as Natalie has prayed. Mm -hmm. We want our lives to be a continual outpouring of what we yes. ourselves have received from the kingdom of God, from the oh, life, Lord. the vitality, the hope, the wisdom. Oh, yeah. The love, the grace, the continual forgiveness and mercy that we receive in our lives that allows us to, to go forward in dignity because you have forgiven us and you continue. You continue to look upon us with such mercy and such compassion and it's not like the world. In no way is it like the world. And there's healing in the kingdom. Lord, there's not just forgiveness of the inner man, but the outer man can can prosper yes. and be healed and whole. Yes. And families can be healed. Relationships can be reconciled. There's no end to the benefits of the kingdom mm -hmm. of God and right. life in the kingdom. Lord, we want to be revealers of this world and, and help people see that this is a virtual world we're living in. Yeah. There's something so much richer and this is a shadow of the real. Oh, Lord, yeah. we want to be ambassadors of the real mm. and ha see people <laughs> so ignited oh, with Lord. passion <laughs> to, to set aside that which is just a shadow mm. and go after everything that is true and oh. eternal that will never, ever pass away. Father, we want this, and we know you want us to be this. Mm. So, Lord, we just focus upon that today yes, with yes. thanksgiving. And we say, Lord, you are moving us from faith to faith. Mm -hmm. And you, you have anointed us. You have. We are This is so exciting. Thank you for this adventure, this partnership we have with you, Lord. It's, it's totally amazing. And we want everybody to partake. Mm. Mm. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have today to come to your throne and, and see your glory and perceive the Holy Spirit, Lord, and be led by, by the Holy Spirit to pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. We are so privileged to have all the opportunities you are giving us, Lord, also the understanding, the revelations, to intercede right, Lord, yes. To, yes. To, to pray right, Lord, yes. to focus on you, Jesus, that's yes. the key, that's the door, that's the entry point. Oh, Lord, Lord, you are the model yes. after you, Lord, yes. after you, Lord after you, Jesus. And Lord, you, you, you reveal to us in your word uh, how we should pray and, and, and see the duality of, of your prayer, Lord. The focus on the heavenlies, on the kingdom, on the on this cosmic uh, affairs, but also the daily bread, the, the coming down to the daily issues, to the, to the small things that bother people, families, 
Lord, we pray to you today in both sense. Yes. Come, Lord, and touch cities, touch nations, yes, yes, touch yes. Uh, people group, yes. touch government, yes. businesses, yes. educational arenas, yes. judicial yes. systems, uh, Lord, everything that is uh, on, a, on a major scale. But also, Lord, we, we come to you today asking you for your intervention in people's life, yes, Lord. in the daily matters. In, in sicknesses, Lord. Yes. Heal uh, people that we love, that yes, are very Father. sick, Lord. Yes. Bless them. Touch their bodies, Lord. Pain is such a horrible thing yes. that you remind us in your word that you took all our pains. That's right. That's right. Lord, you, you, your intervention is to diminish the, the power mm. of pain, Lord. Take pain away from our loved ones oh, that God. suffer homes and hospitals yes, and in places that, uh, that uh, there is a big suffering. Lord, we intercede now for interventions on those. Yes. We are reminded now by the Holy Spirit, by names, by faces. You know them and we, we ask you, intervene. Intervene in families, Lord, that are struggling with divisions, oh, with issues that break hearts, Lord, that with issues that brings trouble into the family lives, Lord. Family was invented by you to be a piece of heaven on earth. Hallelujah. Lord, would you give us the, the power to unite in prayer to become in agreement, if two become in agreement, that the perfect uh, expression of family. When families are in agreement, Lord, the power of heaven comes down to earth. Lord, we want to see families together. Lord, break every curse on families that we love. Yes. Even in our families, Lord. Lord, intervene in our friends, families their matters, their issues, their yes, struggling, yes. their daily pain, their sorrows, their tears. Yes. Lord, you died for that. Lord, you died for that. You died for nations. But what are nations if not the sum of families, of individuals, of everyone, that no one perish? You remind us by the Spirit that no one perish, right. that no one suffer. Right. Lord, you, you left the 99 to go to the one, Lord. Thank you for this dual focus on your prayer model, yes. for kingdom issues, for, for heavenly matters, yes. but also for the smaller Individual. things, yes. for the people. Lord, we, we pray you for the people. Yes. And, and, and you know them not yes. only by name, but you count every hair that falls from their heads. Lord, what a precious reminder of your spirit, how careful you look on precisely everyone of us and the ones we love, Lord. For them we intercede now. Yes. We intercede now and we know intercession is a gift from heaven. Yes. Lord, it's not, a, uh, it's not our invention, it's a gift from heaven. That you, that you download into our hearts with heaviness to provoke, Lord, uh, uh, an act of, of, of relate to those that suffer, that are in need, Lord, in, 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 a, in, a, in a soul relationship, in a tide of the souls to see, Lord, your intervention and release what is binded, Lord, and, and bind what needs to be bind from, from the enemies, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the chance we have now to intercede for our city, for our cities, for our nations. I intercede for Spain now, Lord. Since today we have again a socialist government. Oh, oh Lord, forgive my land. <coughs> forgive my land, Lord, forgive my land. Give us a new day. Give us a new day, Lord, in you. Not just a new day, but a new day in you. 
As of forgive our city here, San Antonio, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give San Antonio a new day in you. Yes, we want to restore Lord. the government in the city yes. to, to, to people that fears you above everything, yes. Lord. Restore the government of the city to somebody that fears you so that the oil can flow from the top of the head mm -hmm. until the last one born habitant of San Antonio. Jesus Lord, we want to see your name be glorified at City Hall, yes. at the mayor's office. Yes. We want to have back uh, reunions amongst the mayor to pray for the head of the city and to release blessing to the city, Lord. And, and to take away everything that can curse our city, Lord. Yes. We don't want that. Yes. We want you. We want to reach out to you, Lord. We want to, somebody that is in authority giving to you the keys of the city. Amen. Oh, Lord, because you are the Lord of San Antonio. In spite of every any other uh, philosophy, you, Jesus, are the Lord. And the Lordship was won on the cross. That's right. So nobody can dispute you that. You are the Lord. Yeah. Every enemy, every kingdom is beneath you. Yes. And we are here to proclaim it, to announce it. After Ephesians chapter 3, we take chance and proclaim what your apostle Paul told us, that the, 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 the hidden secret yeah. that we, the church, have, are here to proclaim to the authorities right. in the heavenlies, right. the, the power that is on you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. And on us, you gave us the power. Lord, you gave us the proclamation power, the confession power. Lord, to confess sin so that they are erased, but also to confess uh, a lordship of Jesus Christ. In people's life, in people group lives, in people geographical uh, arenas like cities, Lord. In San Antonio, we will keep proclaiming that San Antonio belongs to Jesus Christ. Yes. Whoever want to accept or not is not by election, it's by crucifixion. Mm. Yes. Lord, it was gained by crucifixion that is above every election, Lord. Because we know that man's heart are weak mm. and we don't have good choices all the time. We we, you give us the freedom to choose, but one of the choices is death. And this is not a good choice. So, Lord, we choose you above everything. And you choose us, Lord. And that was a good choice. And you've been crucified for us, for the human beings, for the citizens of San Antonio, Lord. Thank you, much. For every sphere of influence of this city. Lord, reveal the power of this proclamation again and again. So that the power of darkness know they don't have right. There is no more right for the power of darkness because you have been crucified, O oh Lord Jesus, and you resurrected from the dead to gain, to gain the, the keys. And you own the keys. It's yours, Lord. We just proclaim it. It's yours already, and we proclaim it. And we proclaim it. San Antonio keys are in your hands, Jesus Christ. And we will not be deceived by any other slogan. You are the ruler above every ruler. You are the Lord above every Lord. Right. Lord, and because you reign in, in our hearts. Right. Lord, give us the sensibility to the big matters, but also to the small ones. Yes. Because we know that we know that we know that when we become in agreement and go to the Father, you will hear from heaven. Take intervention today in our loved ones and how they suffer. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. There are many suffering in San Antonio, Lord, on many accounts and many ways. Yes. Lord, there's poverty in our city. Yes. There's illness. Yes. There are uh, uh, people who oh. live here illegally and who are caught in such a such pr uh, pressure and tension and fear. Yes. Um, Lord, 
we we need you in San Antonio. Yes. And we do proclaim mm -hmm. that your government rules oh, over the city of San Antonio. Yes, Lord. Yes, and you have many here agreeing with your kingdom yes, purpose Lord. for yes. this city. That's yes. Right. And we just declare today yes, that that yes. agreement is spread yes. every second, every minute. Yes, Lord. Lord that <coughs> there the is a is time increasing. when yes. there yes. is going to be yes. such an agreement in this yes. city yes. that everyone will know what we have yes. just yes. said. Yes. This city belongs to Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. and Amen. you do have the keys Amen. and when we recognize that fully Lord there will be a prosperity that explodes here like wildfire and there will be no one lame or limping or poor or struggling Lord because everyone will be breathing in the atmosphere of your glory in our city. And San Antonio will be renowned as the city where God dwells. Lord, it sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but this is what you put in our hearts. This is what we believe, and this is what we're standing for. And we will see it come to pass. And we say every day we are closer. Mm. Every yes. minute we are closer. closer. Yeah. closer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. Father, yes, we want to thank you because you do tell us to decree a thing and see it established. And so we are decreeing it not because, just because we want it. We are decreeing it because you have already said it first. Yes. And we agree with you, Lord. We are saying what you have said. That is agreement. We are saying what you have said. And we are repeating it. We are decreeing it into the realm of the Spirit so that yes. it can be manifested in the natural right here in this city. Lord God, you always make crooked roads straight and rough places plain. And Lord, that's what we're asking you to do in San Antonio. We're asking you to intervene in the life of this city in deep ways, in little ways, in big ways in every way to make yourself seen and make yourself known to, to show to the world that you are ruling, you are the king of kings and the lord of lords, you sit on the throne of our lives, you sit on the throne of this city you're ruling in our nation, you're ruling in the nation of the world and lord God it all belongs to you because you bought it with your precious blood your blood has been spilt for the entire world and lord we want our portion of that right here in san antonio texas right in the united states of america yes in spain and england and all the nations we want it all over the world lord god your blood was spilt for the entire world for all of humanity and for every issue lord god you've taken our sins upon you and we say thank you father for what you have done thank you lord jesus for what you have done but now we want to see the effectual working of that right now in our cities in our nations have your precious way Lord we are here to seek your face to advance it for from the place of the spirit realm because we know that this place is far greater than the natural realm mm -hmm. from this place we can touch everything yes and Lord we intend to do it right here right now in yes, Jesus Lord, name. yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord and Father, even as we see clash of kingdoms taking place, well, Father, and Lord, we see the exposing more and more <coughs> of anti-Semitism. Father, we just cry out to you, Lord God, that that wickedness will be exposed. And Father, that people will see it for what it is. And Lord God would recoil from this anti-Semitism, even which is rising in our own nation, Lord. We say in Jesus' name, let those who... Uh, uh, own that attitude, Father. Let them be shamed, Father. And Lord God, we just cry out to you, Lord, that you will expose it and deal with it, Lord. And Father, I pray, I pray, Lord God, that this city, this city would bless Jerusalem. Yes. Father, as yes. we bless yes. Jerusalem, Father, yes. we will be blessed. Yes. And Father, if as this nation be a blessing to Jerusalem and to Israel, Lord, this nation will be blessed. And Father, we say, Lord, there is a, 
a spiritual tie, Lord, which none of us can really understand totally. But Lord, we know it's there. And Father, we will not just uh, just discard it, Father, as of no importance. Lord, it is important, Father. And Father, we come before you this day and we say, Father, that even in our schools, Lord, where children are influenced and persuaded in such ways, Father, even evil ways these days, Father, that they will not be persuaded with anti-Semitic talk, Father, yes. and that, Lord, they, their children's minds will be protected. Yes. Lord, we want a generation to grow up that loves the things of God and love the, the purposes of God, even love the place where your feet will come yes. and tread again on the Mount yes. Olivers. Lord God, to think that there is a place upon this earth, Lord, where your feet again will touch. Lord, what a precious place that is. And Lord, we, we just pray. Summer in our school system. Oh God, yes, yes. Lord, that you would find uh, people that um, love their students. Yes. yes. That love you. Yes. And that love and respect all peoples. Yes. Where there's no hatred, no prejudice, Oh, um, Lord. And uh, people whose hearts are, are open to truth yes. and who are truly dedicated to teaching truth to our children, even at the cost of standing against uh, terrible curriculum materials that yes, are presented yes, with. Yes, yes, But Lord. people who are so teachers and administrators who are so committed to truth and to love that they are taking responsibility mm -hmm. in their profession yes. to do what is right. We ask for those kind of people to be brought into every school and every district yes. in Bear County. Yes. We pray that you would give them favor as applications are being reviewed, as yes. interviews take place, yes. we pray that you would highlight your chosen ones yes. and that they would be the ones to receive the new positions. Yes. And we pray that uh, those that need to exit for whatever reason yes. in your perspective, Lord, even unexpectedly, mm -hmm. they would exit. And we just pray for a, a real Jesus. exchange Clean up, Lord. Clean to up, Lord. Uh, occur yes. in our school system, Father, yes, and that um, it won't have to operate under the restraints of, of, of ungodliness. Mm. Because the, the power of the individual's teaching mm. is, is so much um, cleaner and better. <laughs> oh Lord. And we know this is possible, Lord. It is, Lord. And so we thank Bring you. Bring us for back it. to it. Thank Lord. you, Lord. Thank yes, you. Lord. And we pray also for the school system, especially yes. the no more shootings in oh, any school in Texas, Father, Lord. Father. We pray to you today and we also again proclaim yes. peace in every school yes, in Lord. Texas. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Every school, Lord. Yes. Uh, highlight those that they become exposed that have evil intentions in their hearts lord lord expose them expose the enemy that has infiltrated hearts to harm kids lord to harm population lord uh, uh, we cover the state of texas that is our primary responsibility lord san antonio Bejar county and the state of texas we cover it with our prayers lord Yes. That you expose the, the every every plot of the enemy, Lord. Yes. The kids into the schools every day, Lord. Yes. That they are protected. That they are protected, Lord. In Jesus' name. In oh, Jesus' God. name we yes. pray. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Father, our hearts grieve for the for the situation that's occurred, Lord, when children grow up into these Lords who could have these. A murderous thoughts, Lord God. Oh, Lord, Lord expose God, the enemy. Lord expose the God, enemy. their homes, their family life. Lord God, that has allowed this wickedness to grow in, in children's lives, Father. My God, we cry out to you, Lord. And we just ask you, Father, again and again, Lord God, that you do such a work in the families, yeah, Father. Lord that, Lord God, God there will be a turning again to the Lord. Lord God, it's not just schools, Father. It's 
No, it's too late almost. When they get to the school, it's the families, Father. The families have got to turn to you. And God just uh, highlights the need, Lord. We need such an outpouring of your spirit, Lord, in our city, Lord. We need a deluge of you, Lord God. That, Father, there be a mighty harvest of souls, Father. That, Lord, individuals, whole families, mothers and fathers and whole children, Lord, grandparents, Lord, all be turned unto you, Lord God. And there'll be a revolution in the families, Father. And the children will be uh, just brought up in ways which honor you and glorify your name. And Lord, that these wickednesses that we read about, Lord, and see on our televisions, Father, Lord, there'll be things of the past, Father. Lord God, these are things which are hatched in hell, Lord God. And Father, they're not that which is comes from a, a heart, Lord, which has grown up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And our oh, Father, we cry to you, Lord. We cry out, Lord God, for a renewal of life in our families, Father. A renewal of life, Lord God. Lord, a repentance, Father, in society that will turn us back again, Lord. Seeking your face, Father. That, Lord, that the days of, of harvest will come, the days of the outpouring of the Spirit. Oh, God, pour out your Spirit the form of the ladder rains upon us, Lord God. We desperate for it, Lord God. Lord, let the whole of San Antonio be drenched in the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Let something supernatural take place here, Lord. Father, we can't say we deserve it, Lord God. It's just your kindness we call upon, your mercy we call upon, Lord God. Pour out your Spirit upon us, Lord God. Pour it out, Lord God. Lord, you're our only answer. You're the answer to our children, to our schools, to, Lord, these shootings, to every conceivable wickedness. God, you're the answer to the immigration problem, Father, which, Lord, is a huge problem in this nation, Father. Lord, as the door's been left open for decades, Lord, God, and how, now we wonder why people walk through, Lord, and, and then a nation, Father, we're a nation without any law, without any implementation of law. And God, I just pray that this, this stupidity that we live in, Lord, will be rectified, and Lord, that there would be compassion and that there would be that law, Lord, that will be brought to pass, Father, that Lord will deal with this massive problem that there is. Oh God, we just cry out to you, Lord. We pray for the families, Father, Lord, who are here illegally, Lord, allowed to come here to have a baby. Lord, they said they've got an American child and then they're illegal. My God, we cry out to you, Lord. The stupidity of, of law. Father, we just cry out to you, Lord, that these things will be changed, will be made sensible, and that, Father, you will just deal with this whole issue. My God, my God, we bring it to you. We bring it all to you. I pray for our government, Lord. Lord, that they will come to some sanity, Lord. Some agreement, Lord, that, Father, there will be agreement over these issues. And that, Father, we will get sensible law and sensible and sensible attitudes towards the immigrants in this nation. My God, we just lift it before you and we pray for your mercy, pray for your grace, pray for wisdom, the wisdom from on high, Lord, to solve the indis insoluble, Lord. Lord, just give us wisdom. In yes. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, well, we just cry out for the spirit of wisdom and understanding, yes. Yes. Lord, for our government, for all of our citizens, yes. Lord, where we've been deceived, yes. where we've been hoodwinked, yes. Lord, about this immigration issue. Uh, we just, Lord, we, we're so sorry that we've believed lies and deceptions. We ask for a massive deliverance oh, of our God. nation so that we can see our right, so that we can see clearly and yes. be working with, with what is true instead yes. of what is false. Yes. And Father, we pray that oh, people God. are somehow benefiting um, individually uh, through obtaining, uh, I don't know, positions, power, money, uh, off the illegal immigration issue. Lord, we just declare a stop to yes, that, yes, that, yes, that activity. Yes to that unjust gain, that dishonest gain that's based in corruption and the destruction mm. of lives and, mm. and potentially even of a nation. We say no to that in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we just call upon your mercy to open the eyes of the hearts of 
everyone who is in a position of influence and decision regarding this immigration issue, we cry out for the spirit of wisdom, wisdom and wisdom, of wisdom. understanding to see what is best for the entire nation. Yes. From your point of view, yes. and we thank you for it. Amen. We yes. thank you that you are working in this That's way. Right. That's and we right. thank you that you're working even in ways we cannot see and we don't know about. Oh, Lord. And we just thank you for that. And Lord, on this matter, we pray also for the elections that will take place in Mexico these mm -hmm. days, Lord. Mm -hmm. oh, As this, uh, whatever this uh, nation uh, elect will affect oh, God, all these God, God. issues on immigration yes, yes, and relationships yes, yes. between these two nations, Lord. Yes, Father. Lord, uh, uh, mm. Mexico has not had a chance, Lord, because the, the governments have been weak. Yes. Lord, uh, give wisdom to the to the population so that they make the best choice. Yes, Father. Lord, rise oh, up Father. people in the government that are fearful people, fearful to God, yes. and and that they that they govern for the people and not yes. over the people, Lord. Oh, God. oh, Lord, we pray for Mexico. We pray for Mexico and, 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 and what goes on these days with yes, the elections, Father. Lord, yes, because Father. that will affect definitely the days ahead, Lord. Yes. Also here in Texas, as we are neighbors, Lord. Lord, give wisdom to the people in Mexico yes, and Father. give them a chance to, to come out of this uh, miserable situation yes, for, 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 for years and years and years. There is no hope in men, Lord. Yeah. There is no hope in men, Lord, uh, so that they turn their, their, their lives to you, Lord, that the church have a stronger voice in yes. the, the nation of Mexico. Yes, there, yes. Are so, there are so many churches, so yes. so so populated churches, but yes. there is not a voice, Lord. There is not a prophetic voice. I don't hear a voice amongst my friends yes. that are apostolic leaders. They are hidden, Lord, in their religious mindset, in their religious activities, yes. Lord. They only care about what happens in, inside their four walls of the church, Lord, but they don't affect their cities. They don't affect their societies. They don't speak it out as prophets of God, Lord. Rise up a voice in Mexico. Rise up a voice, Lord. Break the heavenlies of Mexico. Lord, they enjoy church services, but they don't enjoy life. Lord, that's not enough. A church service in a week. Oh, Lord, life is more than just two hours on Sunday. Lord, open their eyes. Open yes, their Lord. eyes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open their eyes. Yes, Lord. Take the spirit of religious away from the church in Mexico and rise up a church filled by the Holy Spirit Amen. with a prophetic voice for a nation, yes, Lord. Oh God. Rise up that voice yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, yes. Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Lord, Lord, God, Jesus. God. yes. Them from shame and that they would experience true oh. adoption of oh. their sons oh. and know that they are beloved sons of the living God oh. and that they will move in that authority yes. with understanding yes. that they have responsibility to govern their nation. Oh, God. Lord, yes, they're not, Lord. Yes, Lord. They're not bastards. Oh, Jesus. They're sons. And oh. I pray whatever you need to do to heal their identity, that you would do that. Yes. Jesus, Father, I pray that you would break the religious spirit on that nation. Amen. There's Amen. a religious spirit on that nation that's kept the people bound. And we break it today in the name in of Jesus. Jesus. We say, name. Lord in God, let them come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Truly, we are with you. Through your Son, Lord, I pray for that in Jesus' name. I pray that this very day, eyes will be open to see that there is indeed more that the religious system has offered them, has kept them involved in. Lord, we pray that eyes will be open and spirits will be open to receive the truth, which is in Jesus Christ and Him alone. And their eyes will be open to see the fullness of your kingdom, to see it and to go for it, to hunger for it, to, to learn, yearn for 
Lord, in, in Jesus only, we pray for that. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, for the religious system to break, to break over, to, to be loosed off of, off of Mexico, to be loosed off of uh, those people there that you love every one of them and you want them to come to freedom. You've called all of us to abundant life. You've called us to a life abundantly in, the, in Jesus Christ. We know that the religious system is just a... Uh, uh, it's just a, a counterfeit of what you really want. Yes. It's just a counterfeit of what you've called us oh, to. We oh. pray, oh God, that they will see that and they will run from it, they will flee from it, and they will run towards you yes. in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Lord, expose yes. Astarte, yes. expose yes. the Queen uh, of Heaven, yes. Yes. expose her, Hallelujah. Lord, yes. in the manifestation of the Guadalupeño, Lord. Hallelujah. Expose Astarte, expose Hallelujah. her, expose her yes. in Jesus' name, yes. that the people see the deceiveness, yes. Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh Lord, there is no queen oh. in heaven. There is only a king in Hallelujah. heaven and in earth. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. Over Mexico. That's Jesus right. Christ, the King of yes. Kings. Over yes. Mexico, Lord. Over Mexico, Lord. Yes. Break Hallelujah. the power of the yes. Queen of Heaven. Yes, oh, Lord. 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 Jesus and name. Father, Jesus we pray, Father, for the, the Mexicans oh, here in this city. Oh, Lord, Lord the yes. Open their eyes, eyes too. Oh, God, God we're under that same covering. Oh, and we say we lose you this day. We lose you. We lose you. In the name of the Lord. Kira Vassani, Kira Vassani, Kira Vassani. Kira Vassani. Oh Lord, hit the south side of San Antonio oh, yes. with the power of heaven, yes. with the power of heaven. Yes. Expose what the enemy has done in families yes. after families, yes. in neighborhoods, Lord, and bring light, bring light, bring light yes. to south San Antonio, Lord, yes. bring light. Expose the enemy, expose yes. the enemy yes. in all their, their, their strategies, yes. Lord. In criminality, yes. Lord, in yes. deceiveness, in robberies, yes. and in, in false religion, in yes. drugs, in yes. gangs. Yes. Oh, Lord, expose the enemy. Expose the enemy. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' name and we Lord, pray. We ask for that on the west side as well, on the south side. We want it all. On the entirety of the city, we know that there's people, Hispanic people in every part of San Antonio. We want them all to be set free from the power of religion and the system that we've been praying about. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Our hearts and eyes be open for them to see the reality and the truth of Jesus Christ and them alone in Jesus' name. Jesus name. I saw the exposed the Lord uh, uh, in the stone of area all the new habitants that comes from Mexico and they are hidden there Lord because they are powerful in the finances Lord but expose them too Lord expose them too with the evil intentions Lord we don't want to draw cartels related people in the city of San Antonio expose them Lord expose them they are hidden be behind their finances behind their nice houses behind their nice cars but they are evil they are evil Lord expose them Lord city of San Antonio belongs to God to Jesus Christ deliver 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 in Jesus Christ this is a revival city this is a revival city this is a city of, of the saints in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name Lord Angelic visitations, angelic visitations, Lord, angelic visitations. Lord, in every tsunami, before the wave hits the land, water disappears. We want to understand that season where it seems like where there was water, there is now dry. Lord, we hear the sound of the big wave. 
we hear the sound of the big, big wave, Lord. Mm. Bring the water back mm. in a mighty, in a mighty dimension, mm. Lord. We proclaim it. Yes, my God. The tsunami of God to San Antonio. The tsunami of God. Yes, Lord. You're doing it, Lord. You're doing it, Lord. You're doing it, Lord. Lord, Lord. We just, we just commit to you, Father, all leadership amongst Hispanic churches in this city, Father. We ask for special blessings upon yes, them. Lord, from revelations, Lord, in their hearts, for understanding of the scriptures and the things of God in the deep new ways, Lord. And Father, even as we pray this day for a loosing from that religious spirit, that Lord leadership within the church here will be able to lead their people in a correct and a right way, Lord. But Father, they're not just a, a little flock, Father, who's insignificant, but Lord, that they're the mighty ones, the yes. saints of God in the earth. Lord, they're here to make, make change. They're here, Lord, as the answer to situations. Oh God, open eyes. Open eyes. And I pray that you will open eyes to see that it's not about a system. Christianity is not about a system, it's about a person. It's about you and your son. It's about your Holy Spirit, a person of God in your in, the, in your son and in the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that eyes be open to see that it's not a system, it's a person. And that we will, re we will love the person of God. We will love the Holy Spirit of God. We will love God in all of his aspects, in every aspect of who you are. And we will love you in that respect. And it's not about a system. Cause us to see it's not a religious system, it's you. It's all about you. It's about you redeeming us to see you, to have a relationship with you. And I pray people in this city and beyond will be freed from religious trappings. Yes. To come to a true relationship with you. Amen. And the liberty of that relationship, the power of that relationship. Mm. Oh, God. That's the freedom to which you have called us. That's part of the freedom to which you've called us. Not a religious system, but relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Relationship with the deliverer. Relationship with the lover of our souls and the lifter of our heads. Lord, I pray that souls will be lifted and heads will be lifted these days like never ever before to see the truth that is in Jesus alone. Yes, my God. So Father, we just thank you today for leading us and guiding us in prayer. Oh God. And you're so gracious, so good. We love you, Lord. And Father, today, as you've joined us with in prayer, I just pray that your hearts have been blessed, encouraged, continue to pray. Lord, there, there, there are issues in your city, in your in your neighborhoods that you need to be praying about. And I just encourage you just to open your eyes, open your heart, hear what the Spirit is saying. And you be the co-worker with God for transformation, restoring of streets, transformation of cities. That's we, we're going to do it. It's not a. It's not a another activity. It is. This is the the push of the Spirit of God into the hearts of people, transforming them so that their lives are transformed and our society is transformed. Come on, let's continue to pray. We bless you today for joining us. Come again next next Friday. We'll be here. Thank you.